forensics detectors. I'm Dr. Cos, you guess and I was a guest speaker and guest detector expert. And today, folks, coming at you from Los Angeles, we are talking gas regulators. Gas regulators that fit onto calibration gas bottles. Look, folks, when you buy a gas cylinder, it just comes by itself. Look, look at the difference. It comes by itself. And some people are surprised that you have to also purchase with it a gas regulator. The regulator helps contain the gas in the bottle so it doesn't all blast out and it gives you a controlled amount of flow. Folks, that's why we need the gas regulators. And by the way, we sell several different types of gas regulators and I'll be explaining them right now. Check it out, folks. The one that we have on this bottle is our fixed type gas regulator. What does it mean? It means when you turn it on, a fixed amount of flow of 0.5 liters per minute will be coming out. That is your gauge, the pressure gauge. It tells you how much pressure is in the bottle. That is your knob, your on off, and up top is the outlet. That's the outlet barb. That's where you pop on your tubing. And it's about a four millimeter diameter barb. You pop on your silicon tubing, and then you pop the other end on to your calibration cap to deliver the air to your detector for calibration. That's basically the setup of every type of gas detector calibration setup, folks. So that is our fixed type. We also sell our variable type. It also comes with a gauge, the pressure gauge in the bottle. It comes with a thread, the C10 thread that all our bottles and regulators come with the C10 thread. It also comes with a flow meter. These lines indicate about 0.1 liter per minute flow. So when you turn that on, that little ball bearing that's in there will jump up and will show you the flow. And up top, of course, is the barb again where you pop on the tubing and you deliver the gas to your calibration cap and detector. So this is our little brother, our variable flow regulator. The other one we have is the big brother. It's our fixed yet variable regulator, folks. It has preset limits. Check it out, folks. Can you see that? It's changing levels because it has fixed amounts, but I could still change it up from 0.3 liters up to several liters per minute. Again, C10 thread, pressure gauge, and the barb pop on the tubing to your gas detector. And that's basically it, folks. That's the setup. Again, gas cylinder, gas regulator, two different things. Unfortunately, you have to purchase them separately. And by the way, folks, before I leave, calibration is very important. Make sure you follow our recommended period of calibration. We recommend somewhere from six to 12 months. If though you are doing something that's very precise and accurate, like lab work, R&D, analytical type of research and development, we recommend to calibrate as often as possible once a day, once a week. I personally, when I'm doing research, I do it every time I detect at the start of the day. I wanna make sure my levels are right on, bang, smack. Therefore, I do it as often as possible. Have a great day, bang, bang. See you soon.